pounds, green eyes, brown hair, unknown what she was wearing. And the way that they have it written up is on September 20th. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so it says... Um, it freeze. This game so freezes a lot. For her children or her child. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, she's got a whole family, but she's got... She's got little ones, like... You know? That's... Uh, oh, yay, yay. Um... September 20th, 2022, the county sheriff's office received a report of a missing person, Alyssa N. Taylor. It's a white female and 25 years of age. Miss Taylor does not operate a vehicle, but made statements that she would be leaving the area in a tractor trailer for a few days. Last known contact was made on September 13th, 2022. Ooh, two dogs I gotta fight this time. And then anyone with information, the phone number is... 757-787-1131. Very, very tiny. Uh, it's a very bottom there. But if you want to find this, um, it's, like I said, on my community wall. And I will update it if anything does come in. Man, that was easy. New, um, I know a group that is working on this case closely, but haven't seen updates yet. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um... Yeah, so if there's any updates, I will post them to the top of that community page, um, the community post that I have up for her. I believe she's the most recent one that I have up there right now. Um, I will be putting more up tonight, but she'll, you know, she'll be a, a down. But yeah, any update at all, I'll, I'll post it for you guys. Um, and I may talk about her in an update, uh, some upcoming streams, just giving you updates along the way. Right, if we find out anything. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you guys come up with any other thoughts, um, ideas, theories, something that may make sense uh, that, that we didn't just talk about, like definitely comment it, let me know it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really sad. It's really, really sad. Um, and then Megan Boswell, right? So, I didn't get to talk to you guys about it yesterday uh, because Shit. I was covering a different case. But um, another missing person family actually put information out on her. Um, and so let me show you. This was uh, just some updates. I won't um, put it up late today. Yeah, right. Um, I heard that there was supposedly some new, like, new information on his FI case, and, like, Shit. someone was arrested, and yep. then there was supposed to be a press conference, and, right, I heard that there was a little bit of, a little bit of ruckus going on that was really unnecessary. I didn't look into it for myself, I just heard about it, but... Man, that's not okay. There's so many people that follow that case and take these cases. We take these cases really seriously, right? So it's it's not funny to be doing stuff like that. Yeah, Daddy Collier case that I discussed yesterday is so interesting. I'm reading updates close to home for me. Um, I do have something on it, actually, uh, Neil. I will touch on her, the little update here. I will touch on it um, right after I get through with this um, update on the Megan Boswell and Evelyn. New information tonight, the Sullivan County mother accused of killing her 15-month-old toddler appeared in court today. Megan Boswell is accused of killing her child, Evelyn. The court is reviewing whether certain evidence, including photos from the crime scene and the autopsy, can be used at her trial. Forensic pathologist today testified she believes the child died of asphyxiation. In the TBI reveal, her body was found in a trash can. Megan Boswell faces charges of murder, aggravated child abuse, and multiple counts of false reporting. The trial was put back next February. Okay, so that was a lot of info real quick, right? So we're gonna go to another, we're gonna go over to another one. Um, and 
I have um, 